as I did with the front section of the eye sockets, I'm going to take my handy dandy little artist brush handle dipped in alcohol and I'm going to come straight down like so and I'm going to create a little locking dimple right here and on the left side I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to go down and create one I'll just go down nice and straight right here okay now we're going to put one here here want them to match as closely as possible hmm right here at the back and for this I'm going to hold the clay tight by using this this backboard here so I'm going to come down and put one directly behind the skull right directly behind the sagittal crest which is this high crest down the center you can see right there where it's at and then I'm going to add a couple more here I'm basically going to go the circumference of the skull at the rear. Okay, I'm going to go in here. I don't need this anymore right now. I'm going to go right behind where the zygomatic arch meets the skull, the cranial bone, and here, here as well. Remember, I'm going as far down as about the depth of to the label, okay? Now, here and here, I'm going to place a couple of these locking... Okay, what I was saying before I ran out of memory, <laughs> um, I added the two little wood buttons that I took out of here. I added them to the rear corners. I added one more hole here and one more hole here and I deepen the holes inside the eye sockets what I will do now uh, I've gone and attached the rear of the box in place with several rubber bands that will hold it really snug and what I need to do is simply now go ahead fill in the bottom line of the clay along the clay base and the wood and then fill the, the upright corners with clay and smooth them shape them right I will then coat the inside of this with MR15 and then the silicone here, the silicone wool will be coated with the Vaseline, the thinned Vaseline mixture. And I'll put a little of the thicker Vaseline up along the uprights of the silicone where it meets the wood, just to ensure that it doesn't flow through. I'll also put a little line of it, or I may coat the top of this with the Vaseline mixture in case we have any overflow across the top. It'll keep the, uh, the silicone from sticking to itself. And I'm going to go ahead and do this. And when I come back, we'll be pouring the second half of the upper skull mold. Okay. I've got the Vaseline applied. This part of the silicone here. So it's all sealed up really well. Now, I've mixed up one fifty-four of the A, one fifty-four of the B, and I'm going to go ahead and pour it in right now. A thin stream of silicone from a high vantage point. Put this in and let it fill around. Let it find its own level. It'll fill in all the little holes. It'll fill in around the buttons. It's starting to work its way around the rest of the bone. The rear of the zygomatic arch is being filled in. Let me turn this around a little bit if I can. All the filling. 
you can see the rest of this being filled here. That's filling up really, really, really nicely. And what I'm going to do when it reaches the point of the the two little key locks at the top, I'm going to lift the mold box and be sure that it gets all the way in there. <laughs> I'm also going to take a little wire. It's 18 gauge wire and I shaped, I curved it and shaped a little hook in, 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 the, uh, in the end here. This is what I used to get under the eye sockets of the first half. I'm going to get in here and be sure that this gets all around. So I can actually see an air bubble inside here and I want to get rid of that. There we go. All right, very good. Now, let's get the rest of this poured in to the very top. Then we'll break up the bubbles because we don't like bubbles. Now you can see this side is filling before the before the opposite side. That tells me that it's not sitting on a level place. All right. How do we fix that? We put this back to the level place it was before we began this project. That means I have to turn it away from the camera to do it. Now, I'm going to get in one more time. All right. And I'm going to get under here and break up a bubble, which is living right here. There we are. <clears throat> that should be good now. That should be clear. Hopefully it is clear. Let's top this off. Let's meet the top on the opposite side. All right. There we go. A little more again. Just a wee bit more. All right, that's what I want right there. Perfect. Be sure that the, the place it's sitting is level. Let me just check that with my, my carpenter's level. Front to back, side to side level. Now we're going to break up the surface bubbles, break up those little champagne bubbles with the Polys 2500 release agent. Again, this is another Polytech product. And there we have it. That's it. Okay, I see an air bubble still in this one locking key that needs to be gone. You see it right there. Should try and get that the heck out of there. Come on, get out, you little bugaboo. Now, luckily, this is not against the detail of the skull. Being in here, you don't want an air bubble anywhere, but if you have to have one in a locking key is not the worst place in the world for one. I'm actually f trying to fish this out. There, I think, I think I've got it now. Yeah, well, there's the bubble right there. It came to the surface. Okay, now she's gone over the top a little bit. Just from all that diddling around. But there is Vaseline release agent. 
across the top here. So, all right, that looks pretty cleaned out. That looks fairly cleaned out. So I think we're good. Now, as this continues to set up, I'll come back in from time to time and I'll just, I'll get down and I'll just blow on the bubbles a little. Little puffs of air <laughs> will help break up the bubbles that come to the surface, like this little one here. There we go. And that's all there is to it. Now we leave it alone and let it sit. You can see how nice and clear that is. So we have a, I think we're going to have a real, a real fine mold here. We'll let it set. And the next part that needs to be done after this second half sets, you need to turn it over, pull the clay from the bottom, clean it up like I did at the back here, seal the wood, pour the silicone for the bottom part. So far, so good. Fingers crossed. Thumbs up. Uh, we're back. It's been nearly six hours and we have a good solid cure on our silicone. Now it's time to turn the box over, clean the clay from the bottom. Uh, the front of the skull here, the rear of the skull. I'm going to turn it over and I want to remove the clay from the rear, which is now here, from the rear of the skull forward. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. I'm going to start with my Jonas modeling tool. Reach down in here. I want, I want to make sure that this... I'm going to put this any which way I need to to get this accomplished. I want to make sure I'm holding the rear of the box in place. I don't want it coming away from the silicone. I just want the clay to come away from what's beneath it. Now. It's going to be like with the lower jaw section. It's going to come away in two parts. First here. And now this part here. Oops, see that's what I mean. I have to hold this. Now this part here. And just a little bit of seepage through, but that's okay. That came right away. That came clean away. I'm going to come up. Uncap this whole baby right here. There we go. All right, we had a little bit come through from somewhere and just covered the teeth a bit. But this part's out now. That's okay. I don't see where it caused a whole lot of problems. Should not create a big difficulty um, releasing the skull this time. I'm just going to make sure that we're well sealed and that all the clay is pushed back down in place. I do that should have a success when pouring the bottom half. So, I'm going to take my little wood modeling tools and I'm going to push the clay down into place where it need be. Let's use this little eye socket starter. It's rounded and it can get in here. And push this clay where I want. Get a little more of the warm clay now. get this into the back portion of the cranial opening right here at these rear lobes I'll make sure this is closed in really well don't want any silicone getting into the skull via the cranial cavity. There's a plastic bag in there remember so it's 
kind of really pushing up. Well, here we go. All right. That'd be time to put a little extra clay in here. Yeah. I think I'll pull this piece out and put a whole new piece in. See if we can't get this out somehow. With a couple of modeling tools like so. And just reinstall some clay. This is coming out really well. I mean, this is coming out a lot easier than the water-based clay would. Or had in the past. I'm just going to... Let me overfill this with some really, really well-warmed clay. Make a ball of it. Put it here. And just drive it on into the skull opening cavity, brain cavity. Work it around. Here we are. Get this clothes off nice now. There. Real nice. Give it a little shape. Swiping the clay towards the outer section of bone so that it's, you know, sealed right up to it. Like so, and like so. All right. Do a little bit of shaping here. I want to pull the tool from the center of the clay to the ends. All right. If we go from the end in, we're going to push the clay away. We're going to, the clay is going to end up pushed away from the bone, and we don't want that. Go from the center. And go up and around the entire cranial opening. Now it doesn't have to be smooth and neat. I just like it to be smooth and neat. I prefer it to be smooth and neat myself. That's just a personal choice on my part. Okay. All right, let's get some of this extra clay. Been tossed around. Get those little tiny clay crumbs out of there and again just from the center outward to the ends of the skull opening just like so all right I want to take some soft clay and I want to fill in some of the other details Right here, we've got little openings that these need to be filled. Okay, there's a little cracked portion of the tympanic boule here that needs to be filled. And you go over the underside and fill in all of these details. And I'll do that with nice warm clay that I can place into these features. Press them in. Shape the clay, just like so, just like so. Now indent it just a bit, I want to remove excess clay from the base, the damming process, from the bone. We don't want little reproductions of little bumps and things on the bone to be in the mold. Like 
so. And now this clay here needs to be smooth because this is where part of the bone was rebuilt. Same thing here. There was clay used here to rebuild this broken part of the bot underside of the skull here at the bottom. Now I'm just going to go continually go around the skull and find the areas where clay needs to be removed. And I'm going to get this ready for the bottom section of the mold to be made. Now the release agent that will be used on the bottom will be the straight uh, thin Vaseline. I'm not going to use the MR15 because it doesn't seem to be a whole lot of areas that we could use it on. We got a little bit of clay around the front of the incisors. It needs to come up. I'll take this up from here. Clean this up. Well, just little little bits of clay on the tip of the modeling tool. They need to go. Little bits of clay here. Now I'm going to go around this and continually check it. And I'm going to do that off camera. And I have to make a little repair here to the silicone, it looks like. I've got what looks like a little trapped air bubble. So I'm going to put just a little bit of... Oh, I think I'm going to put a little bit of silicone in there. And I'm going to seal that and make this part of the mold a little bit stronger before I go on with any more clay work. Okay, as you can see, the part of the tympanic boule that was broken right here has since been modeled over with clay and reshaped. Uh, I've also gone over the entire underside here with a brush dipped in alcohol, a small artist brush, square artist brush, and as I go it helps me pick up little errant stray pieces of clay that otherwise you wouldn't be able to get like even with a modeling tool. It picks them right up, dampen it with the alcohol, pick it right up with the brush. This becomes very very helpful. All right, <clears throat> now I'm going around, I'm checking the entire thing before I even start claying up the corners. I want to make sure everything is good. Um, I don't see any more little, well, there's a little tiny opening back here. It's actually an opening in the bone. It's not a crack, it is an opening. Definitely an opening right back here so I'm going to go ahead and fill that in with clay as well a little bit a little tiny bit of warmed clay on the tip of the modeling tool and get right in there give it a little schmear like so a little bit of excess taken away now dip the brush in some alcohol I just dip the brush in some rubbing alcohol, pat it on a piece of paper towel, and then give it a little smooth. That opening is now sealed. All other openings are sealed. Little tiny bits of clay taken away. As you can see there. And I just continue to go around and do the cleanup. Now this, this could take another half hour, and I'm just going to go around and completely clean it up before applying the, the separator to the lower half here. I decided not to try to put silicone down into this little uh, air pocket here that formed into silicone, because if I do, I have to get separator on one side of the mold to get silicone on the other side of the mold. So I'm simply going to let the silicone fill that in as we go around. What I will do on camera in the meantime 
will be to remove these button keys. There goes one. There goes the second one. It's kind of a false start there. Third. And the final one. There we go. We'll take these out. Now, I'll make sure there's no clay on the interior of these parts. Here you can see this is the seam with the front half and the rear half of the skull. I'm going to, I'm going to clay the corners, the vertical corners of the box, and along the edges I'm just going to simply put in some thickened, or I should say some unthinned Vaseline to seal that. The box is tight. All right, The walls of the box are tight here. So this is not going anywhere. As far as leakage around the edge, there should be no leakage. But the Vaseline will keep that from happening anyway. It will create a barrier. And I got little, 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 little bits of clay I find every now and again. They just kind of... I spot them, you know? I spot them. And I remove them. I don't want them on the bone. I don't want them on the silicone. You don't want them on the bone. You don't want them on the silicone. You want them out of the way and gone. Because they will give you a false impression. It will create a false impression in the mold. And you don't want that. Here we go. And again, the little brush, the flat artist brush dipped in some alcohol. That's the wrong one. There we go. There's the alcohol. The other cup was an empty. <laughs> and you go around and just clean it up. Well, I'll say it's probably going to take me about another half hour of working on it to get this cleaned. But I'm going to continue at my task.